YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome to a new game that was suggested to me by JJ Wildcat. This is called Pocket Card Jockey for Nintendo 3DS. I'm actually running this currently with an emulator. Uh, yeah, um, it looks fun. Uh, an arcade game. I believe this is made from the same makers of Pokemon uh, when I looked at a video, so that's really dope. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new for horse racing gameplay. I upload a lot of different horse racing games on this channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hi there, nice to meet you. I'll tell you a bit about this game. This game is a mashup of a racing game and a solitaire game, kind of. To put it plainly, as you play solitaire, a horse will race on screen. Yeah. Well, it's a game. Woohoo. <laughs> oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Horse Off Course. <laughs> horse, of course. I like that. I get it. I get it. Horse, or uh, Horse Off Course. Not really, of course. Okay, I get it. There wasn't much of an explanation, so you might need help on the way. But I'll come out now and then to help you. Don't worry. Without further ado, let's play. Oh, a stylus will come in handy to play this game. Please get one ready. A stylus. Okay, see you later. Touch the bottom screen to start. So here we go. Um, this game looks really fun. You guys know I'm a huge fan of these kind of arcadey type of games when it comes to horse racing. So um, this is fun. So we are a boy, and uh, our name. Uh, let's go on my first name, which is Eric. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> All right. So let's see how this uh, this game plays out. I've never played it before because I watched one video. All right, so and it's Carrot 80. Only 200 meters ago, Carrot 80 is still in the lead, followed by Double Leg. Sky Hurricane still running strong, taking over next Deater. Will it be next Deater or Chicken Third? It's a close competition. These horse names are, are hilarious and ridiculous. Next Dieter wins the race. Okay. So next Dieter ended up winning. I don't know how that happened. I really couldn't even tell, but it is what it is. This is the protagonist, whose name is Eric. Eric is a jockey, a person who rides horses professionally in races. Yeah, that's what a jockey is. A jockey is someone who rides horses professionally in races, but unfortunately, Eric has just lost a race. So I'm sure um, some of this stuff is obviously for maybe a younger uh, audience, younger uh, demographic when it comes to certain people that aren't familiar with horse racing, or I should say certain demographics, especially the younger ones. So get a better horse. Enter a bigger race, that would be ideal. But as you can see, Eric is still a rookie. So let's start with uh, the smaller races and gradually gain experience. First and foremost, to enter a race, you must find a trainer. Uh, obviously, trainers are responsible for keeping and preparing the horses. You must find a trainer who will agree to put you on a horse. It all begins there. Oh, look, how convenient. A trainer is coming this way. Ask him to give you a horse to ride so you can enter a small race and win your way up the, way, up the ranks. Blah. Eventually, maybe you can enter big races like the Royal Derby or the All-Star Cup. Okay, so the All-Star Cup is a big race held at the end of the year. Horses chosen to enter are those that have won many trophies, or those that are extremely popular. All right, sounds self-explanatory. That is the trainer. <laughs> he reminds me of what's his face from God Racer 2004. Um, Izawa, I think, or Nozawa, which is probably one of my favorite trainers in that game. Anyways, he says, sir, I'd like to win the derby. Oh, no, this is me talking to him. I'm like, sir, I'd like to win the derby. Please put me on a sure win horse. If only it was that easy. Mr. Makawa, okay, well, I wasn't too far off. We got Nozawa and Gallup Razor 2004, and we have May Mikawa here in pocket uh, card jockey. If I had a horse like that, my life would be so much better. So there isn't one? Not exactly. So there is one. In your stable next door. Place where horses are kept. Yeah, we know where a stable is. Next door, get out of here. That's how my character looks like he talks. Of course, I don't talk like that, but he looks like he talks like that, so I'm just going to do it. Is that fair to say? <laughs> uh, ha ha ha, you're a funny kid, Eric. Shia. Was he really just about to walk away like that? What a weirdo. <laughs> wait, 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 sir. Come on, please, give me a horse. Anyone will do. Oh, all right. Before that, why don't you go train a bit? Eh, I've got to train. Of course you do. How do you expect to win the derby if you can't even train properly? All right. Easy as pie. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. It's my first step to winning the derby. I'll show you how I do it with the finesse. Like I said, easy as pie. I wouldn't talk like that, but cool. Enough with the derby already. Go to the menu and select train, all right? All right, so we are going to get to the training here. Blah! I'm excited. I'm excited to play this game. I didn't watch too much gameplay, so I'm still kind of, um, this is kind of going to be new for me. So, move horse. Uh, how does this work?
Do I have to click constantly? How does this work? How does this work? Wait. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I do not know what just happened. Oh, my goodness. And this guy ran over. Is that a joke? What just happened? I don't know what just happened, guys. I died. Oh, my God. Oh, clearly. <laughs> Uh, ba ba ba. Hey, get out. Eh? Huh? Who? Is this hurts? This game is funny already. I like it. This is this is some comedic stuff. There. Boom. Ow. Oh, sir. I'm not sir. I'm an angel. What? I said I'm an angel. Um. Are you all right? That's what I wanted to ask. Do you understand what happened to you? What? Oh, that horse. It wouldn't move and. Hey, that's right. Sir, that horse is the worst. It doesn't do anything that I tell it to. Uh, sir? I'm not sir. Nope. Um, well then, Angel. I made my, my, my life goal to enter something big like the Derby and win. Just so you know. I don't really have time to train stubborn horses that won't listen. Come on, please. Put me on a stronger horse. You know, you aren't in the position to say that now. Why? Because you're going to die soon. What the f? <laughs> I don't think you heard me. I wasn't a strong. I want a strong horse that is obedient and, huh? You're going to die soon. Sorry, kid. Wait, wait, wait! Stop kidding around. That's not funny. Look around you. It's all dark. Can't see anything, can you? I thought it was a nighttime. But you can see me clearly, can't you? Yeah. Huh? Wait, really? I'm going to die? Yep. Wah, wah! No, I don't want to die. Oh my gosh, this dialogue is hilarious. <laughs> You've got snot running from your nose, snort. I don't want to die. I want to go to the derby. I want to win. Oh, my goodness. I would never act like that ever in my life, bro. You can't even train properly. You're talking about the derby? You haven't even won a maiden race. Maiden race, obviously, is a race for horses that have not won a race before. With your current expertise, you wouldn't be able to win the derby, let alone the rookie cup in racing school. You sound knowledgeable about racing. Well, I'm an angel, after all. I didn't know angels go to the races. Place betting got me hooked. Common wager in horse racing. I had betting in this? Place betting. You suddenly sound like a mediocre fan. What? You're calling me a me mediocre? You know, I thought I'd bring you back to life. What, really? You can do that? I'm an angel after all. Oh, phew. You should have told me sooner. I gotta be honest. I just want to get to the game. This, lie, this dialogue is getting a little long. On one condition, though. What is it? If I'm going to bring you back to life, you have to promise you'll fulfill your dream. Sure. If you aren't... Able to keep your promise, I'll curse you so you'll never win a game again. Your save data will disappear each time uh, you reach the final stage. Really? Well, my dream is to inherit my dad's orange farm, so I think I'll be alright. Oh my gosh, this dialogue is so long. Can we get to the game, please? We get it. Derby is a big race held every year around June. Only horses three years of age are able to enter. Got it. That's just, you know, my whatever. It's unrealistic considering how bad I am with horses. You're going to win the dirty Derby or else. Misfortune. Ah. Uh, it's really hard, you know, riding horses. Ugh, you're hopeless. Don't you have anything you like? I like omelets. Oh my gosh, this dialogue is getting so ridiculous. I just want to get to the game. They're not talking about anything right now. Okay, I know how to play solitaire. In fact, most of us probably do. Okay, I'm skipping through this dialogue, people. Um, I'm sure if you actually want to listen to the dialogue, uh, there are plenty of people that have played this game that go through it. I just want to get to the game, and I'll do dialogue once the game starts, but this is the most tedious, useless conversation ever. There's so much filler in here that's crazy. Like, I'm still skimming through the conversation. They're not talking about anything important. Just back and forth. <sighs> as long as you play slides very well, your horse will run properly. We're going to understand what you're trying to say. That's enough. You'll find out in time. I'm bringing you back to life. Thank you. Bring me back to life. My goodness. Hey, Eric. Are you all right? Oh, it's you. Angel. Hi. Thanks for bringing me back to life. This is not Angel. This is bad. No, no. I'm fine. Are you sure? Can you still train? I'll try. Where is that Angel? No way. All right. Finally. Let's get to the nitty gritty, man. That, was <laughs> that conversation was so ridiculous, man. Okay. Start. So how does this work? Oh, yeah. It's like solitaire. Got it. Okay. I know how to play solitaire. Hi-ho, it's me. Well, that was an ordeal, wasn't it? Yeah, really long, unnecessary ordeal. Anyway, I'm here to teach you about the game, sort of. Hope you remember the rules, sort of. 
in this game, the better you play solitaire, the better your horse runs in the races. I'm actually pretty darn good at solitaire, so this should be good. Draw your attention on the bottom screen. If you clear all the tabula, tabula pile cards on the table, excellent. That's the basic rule. Okay, yes, yes. Anybody doesn't know how to play solitaire, look it up. Solitaire is really easy. I think that's how they say it in Italy. To but I, I don't know. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word and butcher it and embarrass myself. If you can't clear all the cards, try to clear as many as you can. Every card counts. Um, yep. So this is just going through the rules of solitaire. If anybody doesn't know how to play solitaire, uh, like I said, just look it up. It's a really simple and fun game. Yada, yada, yada. Singer, you pick it to be a value larger than the previous one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might be better to start with uh, A and take 2, 3, 4, 5. Or start with 5 and go 4, 3, 2, A. You get the drift. Yeah. At some point, I'm sure you'll get stuck. When that happens, I'll come out again and help you. A connects with K. Some people really are noisy about... Some people are really noisy about, I mean, really specific details. So I thought I should add that in. So then, good luck. All right. Let's get this thing going. All right, so we can actually start playing now. Am I not mistaken? Okay. Oh, I see. Two. All right. Um. So what should I do now? Ouch. You touched a card that doesn't connect to any card on the table. Okay. We're training now, so it's okay. But this word during the races, there are bad consequences. Forgot to tell you before. Be careful. Okay. Just wanted to verify that. So where do I start now? Um. Okay, so that's clear. So maybe I go... Where do I go? Three? Okay, there's two. Three. Okay. Yeehaw! It's me. When you take all those cards, your horse gets in a good mood and is more eager to run. Basically, the more cards you clear, the more enthusiastic it becomes. Okay. Now you've cleared as many as you've cleared as many cards as you can and you're stuck. Look at the bottom right corner. Okay. Ooh, you got a stockpile. Take a card from the stockpile when you're stuck with tab uh tabul I I don't know how to pronounce that word. Can I just call it the tab uh, the, the tablua? The tablue? The tablue. Actually that's probably how it is pronounced. You aren't so lucky, keep drawing from the stockpile to get one. Unless you're really unlikely unlucky, you should be able to connect one card. After that, it's the same thing. Clear as many cards from the bottom or from the Tableau A piles as you can. One more thing you might have already noticed, but here. This number shows how many cards you have left in your stockpile. There's a limit. Can you clear all the tab Tableau A piles before your stockpile runs out? Oh, the tension, the excitement, something like that. So once I hop down, please draw a card from your stockpile. See you later. Yeah, definitely the makers of Pokemon with all this extra, extra dialogue. All right, let's go ahead and draw a card. So we have four. We should be able to go five. And I believe that's it because we can't do anything else. We got two. Can we go A? Now we got to go. Okay, so it's. Okay, so you can't move those cards like that. I get it. Um, so Q. Oh. Can I go eight? Okay. So we got to do again. Seven. Um, I can go eight. And then I can go nine. Okay. So the colors don't really matter for this. Um, there's no jacks. Let's do this. There's jacks. We can go queen. Uh, seven. We just got to stick to that. Four. We got to stick to that. Ten. We would need a jack. We don't have one. Three. We have nothing for that. Q. We can't go double Qs. Ten. We need a jack, bro. Eight. Finally. We can go seven. Uh, we can't do anything else. So that's that. So jack. We can go queen. That's it. And ouch, there was still a card you could take, but you drew from the stock. Really? Which one? That's really a waste. Don't do that. Especially during the races. It's a no-no. Look careful before you could draw. Before you draw. Okay. Got it, got it. So I must have... What did I miss? Oh, you know what? The the queen I could have did uh, went back down to jack. Okay. Just like now, there's nothing. So we draw a... Uh, there's nothing. Eight. We can go seven. We can go six. That's as far as we can. Let's draw again. Six, we got nothing. Five, nothing. King, we need a queen. King, we still need a queen. <laughs> Six, we have nothing. A, we have nothing. Five, we have nothing. Nine, we. I wish we could go ten, but the jack is in the way. Still. All right, we can go. Let's do this jack. 
and then I think that's oh no we can go jack 10 and then we can go jack and then all we need is a queen we get a queen we're good no queen all right got it all right so it's a little bit different than typical solitaire but still the same format except in regular solitaire you can't go up and down like that but this one you can actually go up and down so that's actually kind of cool that's yeah, okay this is practice doesn't really matter well yeah there was, there was one card left relax what's, what's his name horse of off course instead of horse of course i've written down a few tips on playing solitaire the manual have a look if you're curious no i understand it now tableau piles your horse gets in a better mood and performs better remember that see you all right, that was pretty fun. That was actually pretty fun. Like I said, a little bit different from, from traditional solitaire. It's enough training today. Oh, this reading, which I, I like to read a lot. But, man, this is a lot of dialogue. It's a lot of filler. So, essentially, they're talking about... Mikaela is essentially saying um, he wants me to uh, ride one of his uh, horses in the debut race. And he has the horse ready to go. Okay, this horse is... What's the name of the her horse? It's an L Charger. Speed is 64. Stamina is 80. Peak time is 3. It's a 2 year old. Front runner ability. It is a cult. Um, is the horse's name actually first ride or is that just the name of the thing? I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually the horse's name. So this is pretty interesting. So I thank Mr. McCowie for giving me his horse. Okay, the horse's name is actually first ride. That <laughs> that's so funny still more dialogue my character is asking about going to the derby right now which is ridiculous what how old is this jockey like seven years old my goodness <laughs> like i said i'm sure this game was still tailored to a younger audience so i get it i'm just poking fun i'm not legitimately mad or anything about uh this dialogue and some of the some of the antics uh more filler dialogue yada 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 during the races, it's important to charge your horse's energy as much as possible, like a lot. Yeah, yeah, we can't push the horse for the entire length of the race. You have to practice it, help it run comfortably while charging all the energy. So I'm assuming, do we, does that mean we have to take our time or what? The last straight lane before, okay. I know what the home stretch is, yeah. I can tell this is definitely tailored towards kids because they're explaining things that um, are very, very, very common knowledge in the horse racing world unless you are young and you are not familiar with it which is cool it's cool that they um uh have this game to help you know younger um a younger demographic get into the sport of horse racing it's actually pretty cool all right let's just um let's go ahead and save um can you say return to title screen no i'm gonna do a manual save here too just to make sure uh save in the slot one and we should be good Okay, see, I get worried when I... Okay, I just want to make sure my save game showed up. You guys can't see any of this. All right, my save game is there. Cool. All right, let's actually go freaking racing, and let's see what actually pops off with this thing. But yeah, pretty chill game. Pretty chill game outside of the exaggerated dialogue. This, this is actually pretty fun. Okay, huge field. Huge field. All right, field of 11, and uh, we seem to have the best horse in this field by a while speed and stamina both so we should be able to win this is the king fisher race course 1200 meters is the distance we are going let's check in something out right quick you guys don't mind me um whew. okay so here we go let's see how this uh pans out i'm probably gonna split this video into three different parts so Okay, so 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 wait, how how do we get a good start? What happens? Okay, the race is about to begin. So how do you yeah, okay, how do you get the start? Oh, it's me of course. It's me off course, of course. So the race has begun exciting. The race always starts with a game of start solitaire. So I thought I'd tell you a bit about how start solitaire work, right? Um that's why I'm here. Yeah. It's basically the same as training. First pick a card from the bottom of each Tableau a pile, then choose a card one value larger or smaller consecutively when there are no more cards to be taken. The stockpile appears, but here's the difference. Look at the back row. Okay, the card spell starts. See that? When you take a card from here, bang, the race begins. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So we take a, a card from one of these piles. Um, so let's begin from there. Try to work your way up till you reach a 
Okay, start. A full start card. Um, good luck. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so I can go A, 2, A, uh, crap. Nothing else. Q, nothing else. 4, we got 5. Can't do anything else. 5, still can't do anything else. 7, we got an 8. 7, did I mess up? Okay, thank you very much. Oh, so you do that until you get one of these letters um, to actually be by itself in the start category. Got it. Now you've made your way to a start card. You can see the entire card. Now, got it. Now you can take it if you want to, touch it, and it's yours. Go on, do it. Actually, no, wait. Depending on the card you choose, the amount of unity power you gain varies. What's unity power? Over here, this is it. Simply put, it's the power you use to make your horse listen to you. The more you have, the better. But you can only pick one STA on one start card. I wish you had more time to choose, but unfortunately you don't. Why? Because start solitaire is a time limit. Okay, look here. If he runs out, if he runs the other end, time up. When that happens, you don't receive any unity power. Now that makes your race tough. But since this is your first race, you get a special treatment. Okay, there's no time limit this time. Yeah, cool. So even if this guy runs to the end, don't mind him and take your time. Oh, notice how the start cards have blue spears on them? Yeah, the more spears the card has, the better. Since there's no time limit this time, try to take this, uh, take the one with the most spears. See what happens. The best card has five spears on it. Good luck. When I hop down, you're supposed to pick a uh, card, okay? Let's see. Alright, so I, I believe I picked T now, right? Okay. So there's five spears, and they're off. Cool. Alright, so... What is happening now? Wait, what is happening? Okay, so there's my horse right there. Two times to go. Okay. So... Start. Okay. Got it, got it. That was a little confusing, but I will get the hang of it. Alright, let's go... Six. Seven. Um, we need a new card. Q, we can go K. We got a new card. We can go, um, uh, Jack. We can go three, so we can go, um, two, A. Uh, another two would have been nice. Five, we can go four. Uh, five, we need a six or a four. Okay, and oh, we got a, uh, a king. Four. Let's see here. Okay, so we are. We have a thousand meters to go. Ten. We need a, a jack or something. Two. We can go A. Another two would have been nice. K. We don't have much. A. We don't have anything. Okay. Nine. We can go. Um. We can go ten. Oh, I should have. I messed that up. I, I definitely should have went uh, down. I, I really messed that up. Okay. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, okay. So I'm kind of seeing the speed of that. Seven, we can go eight. That's all we got. Jack, we can go ten. Nothing else. Six, we can't do anything. Six, we can't do anything. Eight, we can't do anything. Three, we can go two, A. Um, we're done with that. Four, there's nothing. J, there's nothing. Eight, there's nothing. Two, nothing for us. Three, nothing for us. Nine, uh, nothing for us. And the last card, nine. That's it. Okay. So, we are, we still have a thousand meters to go. And, uh, comfort zone one. Okay, so that I do. <laughs> yo, 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 here I come. It's me again, of course. So, take a look at the new screen. Now, I, I'd like you to tell your horse which direction to go. Your horse is currently right here, right? Draw a line in the direction you want your horse to run. After you do that, your horse will try its best to run accordingly. But which direction is the right choice? Don't know how to decide? That's why I've come out again to give you some tips. Okay. Each horse has what we call a running style. Yes, we know. By knowing its running style, you can get a idea of the best position to take 
Right now, the horse you're riding, first ride, is what we call a stalker. That means he runs most comfortably just behind the horse in the lead. Running styles are different for each horse. I'm trying to say just because it's a race doesn't mean you always have to aim for the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this. Look at the bottom screen. Yes, I'm looking at the bottom screen. Okay, see the white stripes? Yes. Those areas where your horse runs most comfortably. So we should probably be close to the two. Horse runs into white areas. Your horse charges more energy, especially uh, the really white areas. Yeah, okay. Your horse. Yeah, da, da, da. You don't mind draw a line towards this area. And if you bump into other horses, you might get thrown off course. Of course, please try to avoid that. Got it. Now give it a go. So we have to draw a line. How are we supposed to do that? Oh, got it. Okay. And you check mark, right? I didn't know it was actually like a, a pencil that popped up and you actually draw. Okay, got it. Basically, so you know the white areas are the comfort zone. Gotcha. Depending on the pace of the race, it will move back and forth when many horses push forward. The comfort zone has a tendency to move forward too. But when there are many horses that want to take it slower, the comfort zone moves back. Who knows how it will move next? Actually, wait. Okay, so it's going to be hard for us to decide which path to take. We've made something called a comfort zone forecast. And that is here, right here. You see arrows pointing from the picture of the horse. That means comfort zone might move forward next time. Okay, yeah. But if the arrows point backward, maybe it will move backward. Something like that. If there, are, if there aren't any arrows, I guess it's not going to move at all. Probably, yeah. That's how you should think. Sorry I sound so vague when I explain this a bit about the forecast. But you see, it's not too accurate. There's always a margin for error. All right. What's next? Uh, this check button. Yes, I know. Your horse will start running according to your line. Giddy up. All right, let's go ahead and hit this check and see our horse running to the line. All right, so we checked. And now our horse is making that move on, on this screen. Awesome. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Comfort zone two. We're getting to the white ear. Just overtook a lot of horses. Now we are in comfort zone three. Perfect. Looking good, I think. How many? Where are we at in the field? Okay, so 700 meters to go. And now I believe it is time for more solitaire. Yes, it is. Turning loss. Final turn. We are approaching the final stretch here. So what happens now? Okay, start. Here we go. All right. I still don't know what these fireballs are, but we'll kind of deal with them. Okay. Let's go. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, that's all we got. Q. We can go king. We can go Q. Uh, we can go king again. I think that's it for that. Eight. Is there any sevens? All right, we can go nine, ten. Okay, that's it for that. Ten. It's still it. J. Can't do anything for. Okay, we can go. Uh, five, six, five, uh, six. I believe that's it for that. Seven, we would need an eight or six. We don't have either. Two, we can go three, two. We can go A. We're good with that. Two, we can go A. Uh, we're good. Seven, we can't do anything. Four, we can't do anything. Four, we still can't do anything. Nine, we can go. 10, 9, uh, 10, Jack, Queen, King, <laughs> Queen. That's it for that. Um, 8, we got nothing. 3, we can go 2, 3. I wanted to go back down to get that ace, but it's all good. We got 8, nothing. J, nothing. K, nothing. A, we can't do anything with 2 A's and 7. All right, that's it. So only four cards. Still 700 meters to go. How well are we going to do in the stretch? Comfort zone is still three. Comfort level zone is three, I guess I should say. Hola, it's me, of course. You're drawing lines, playing solitaire, riding a horse. And that's pretty much how the races are going to be. Was the second game of solitaire a little bit more difficult than the first? No, not really. It's because when you run in a high level comfort zone, you gain a lot of energy, but your solitaire game gets harder. 
Nah, it didn't get harder for me, man. I used to play solitaire very frequently, so that was pretty um, that was pretty easy to uh, do. Okay, so he's talking about perfect score. It's hard to get a perfect score in a high-level comfort zone. Yada yada yada. It's high risk, high return. That's how things usually are. So that's how this game is made too. Yeah, yeah. It's one more thing to remember. I you to draw a line to control your horse, but I forgot to say the longer the line you draw, the more it uses up your unity power. Okay. You got a lot of unity power, you can draw a pretty long line. But at the last turn, the comfort zone isn't going to move anymore. Gotcha. And there's no more solitaire to do, so it's better to move your horse to a high-level comfort zone and leave it there. After that, this thing here, the go button, press the button here, and we. You enter the home stretch, everyone runs to the finish line. Oh, oh yeah, during this time, if you've got leftover unity power, it gets converted to energy. I figured that. It gets put to good use. If you look carefully, I'm sure you can tell, but this... A container up here stores your unity power okay so that's the unity power power so i guess the better um you are with the solitaire and the less cards you have remaining the more unity power you will get it's called a giddy up button when you press the go button and you have leftover unity power the giddy up button starts jiggling and shaking and wow the air unity power gets converted to energy got it how uh, the color of giddy power determines how much is converted when it's in a cooler color like blue or green colors that look safe i guess that's when you get a lot of energy so once i hop down again i need you to press the go button yeah just do it you'll see your giddy uh up button get to work watch your energy levels rise as it jiggles and shakes that's all for now see you all right so let's go ahead and press go okay so we are in the stretch we are still in our comfort zone right now i think we just need to stay here Okay, so we see how that is working up. 500 meters to go. All right. We're not overtaking any horses yet. Am I supposed to press this? We're red. Okay. So, yeah, the more unity power you have, the more you get up here for that. Got it. I'm assuming. Or is this the energy and that's the unity power? I'm kind of... I actually kind of forgot which one is which. It looks like a looks like we're gonna have a great home stretch. Enthusiasm is 74. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, so I guess we'll see. Do we get to see how the final the final stretch goes? Okay, here we go. Um alright, you venture the home stretch. Oops. And here I am again, of course, the straight lane uh, before the finish line is called, yeah, we know what the home stretch is. So they're still explaining some simple things. Look at the bottom screen. Look at this button here. The go button gave it a push and your horse puts in more effort. Got it. These hearts tell you how much stamina your horse has left. Stamina determines how many times you can use the go button. Okay, I was wondering what those cards were. Got it. Um, got it, got it, got it. So... So the hard cards are essentially the stamina. You don't obviously want to continue to press the go button at the bottom too much or you lose all those heart cards, which essentially is losing your horse's stamina or draining its stamina down to zero. So we don't want to do that. Your horse grows a lot. So if you urging, so if you know urging your horse won't help you win the race anyways, leave this button alone. Or if you know you can win without pressing it, leave the button alone. Got it. Try that out. See what happens. Now about the buttons around the go button. These here, they're used to maneuver during the home stretch. Okay, got it. Horses right up in front of you, press the up and down buttons to avoid bumping into it, obviously. As for the backwards, that's to hold the, that's the slow down the horse, which we don't want to do. Um, has its uses sometimes, like when you're surrounded and the up and down buttons don't work right. You can use that button to slow down to make some space, and then you can make a move by going up or down. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of explanations. I will be pretty happy when a lot of those are done with and we can just kind of just roll through the game. But this is this is pretty fun, man. This is a challenge. It's, it's actually like a brain game, too. Like, you got to think, um, obviously, who will take the lead. So let's go ahead and hit that. We're good. It's a close battle. We are approaching the finish line. First ride slightly in the lead. Eyebright coming second. We still have about – we are increasing our length. Our win, or I should say our lead to about four or five lengths now. First ride shoots forward. We are still in good shape. Oh, well, yeah. They're out of the picture. Horses are out of the picture now. 200 meters to go. We are well on the lead. Probably close on 10 lengths right now. This is looking like a W for us. It's just what I like. Just what I like. Just what I like. Just what I like. Yeah, so we're looking pretty good, man.
Second eye bright. And we ended up winning. Very nice. Okay, strong win, strong run. I like it. All right, so we ended up getting our first win. Good stuff. Very good stuff, okay. Well, guys, on that note, we're going to end this video uh, right here since I've been recording for a while. Let me know what you think about this game in the comment section below if you've never played it. Pretty fun. A lot of dialogue, but I'm assuming that's only because, uh, you know, we're still in the beginning stages and phases of this game. So as we progress and go along, hopefully the dialogue will, uh, you know, be trimmed down a bit. I appreciate you guys' love and support. As always, like I said, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section below. But we will take it from there. Horse Racing Gamer signing out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. See ya, and goodbye.